by Victoria Schwab. This one is actually part three of a trilogy, and this is all about a girl who's a guardian angel, and she has different things that she has to do to earn her wings. So she comes back to Earth and is helping people out. And like I said, this is book number three, and uh, this would be a fantasy book. I've got another one. This one is kind of, well, you can see, uh, it's got a lot of uh, cartoon type drawings on the inside. If you like things like uh, wimpy kid books or if you like Big Neat, then you might like this one. This one, instead of a boy in modern times, he's a boy in back in Roman times, in historical times, and his name is Dorcius Maximus. So you can guess by his name that, well, he's kind of, well, you know, kind of thinks he's kind of a geeky kind of guy. So this is Dorcius Maximus, and it's kind of like a wimpy kid or a big neat book, but taking place back in ancient Roman times. Another book that I brought in, and these have been flying off of our shelves, uh, we have Minecraft books at the library now. Oh, I was so just looking Minecraft, for those. Yep, we've got a bunch of them in the library, and we cannot keep them on their shelves. They are checked out all the time, and these all come in series. So this one happens to be... Uh, Quest for the Diamond Sword, uh, book number one, but there's going to be other books in the series after this. There's a couple of different Minecraft series out there because it's it's just become really, really popular. So this is another one that you might be interested in. Another book that I have, this one, the author is Gordon Corman. This is, I think, book number six in the series, Unleashed. The very first book in the series, this is part of a series called Swindle. And to give you a little bit of background on the first book, uh, the boy in this one, this is the guard dog who's uh, featured in the first book, in the book Swindled, some boys decide to spend the night in an older building, and when they're in there, one of the boys finds an old baseball card, and he thinks it might be worth a little bit of money, so he takes it into a store, and the guy there, well, the guy there says it's really not worth a whole lot of money, but he finds out later that the baseball card is actually worth a million dollars. And so he knows that this guy swindled him and conned him out of money, and he decides he's going to get that baseball card back. So they stage all different things to break into the guy's house and to break into his shop and try and get that card back. And one of the things that they have to deal with is Luther, the big vicious uh, dog right here, uh, Doberman Pinscher. So this is book number seven, so as you see, Luther is still around and uh, they get themselves into all sorts of other adventures. Awesome book. This is actually, Swindle is one of the books that is Battle of the Books for the older kids. But even though I say it's for older kids, you guys might still be interested in it. Whatever After, this is part of a fantasy series. Yeah, Sounds like a couple those. of people yeah. know the Whatever After yeah. books. So if you like things having to do with fairy tales, then you would probably like to go ahead and continue with this. There are right now one, two, three, four, five. This is book number six of the series. And I believe book number seven, if it's, let's see, this one came out in May of this year. That's what the little five stands for, is uh, the month that it came out. This one came out in May. I believe the next one is coming out this fall. So it's just something to keep on the horizon. Like, oh, they're still making these books. So if you like them, come in and you can get more. Pegasus. This one, just looking at the side of it, you can see it's one of those big, chunky books that I was mentioning. Because <laughs> some of us like to read big, chunky books. Uh, this one happens to be a fantasy book, obviously, because it has a Pegasus on the front of it. This is the type of book that I would recommend for anyone if you liked reading things like Harry Potter books, or if you liked things like uh, the Rick Riordan books with Percy Jackson and the Olympians and the Heroes of Olympus. If you like that type of book, then this is the book that's going to be right up your alley. I've got another one here. It's kind of a goofy one. This one, sometimes you read big, chunky books, and sometimes you need to read just you know, just silly little books. Uh, this one's a little bit shorter. This one is called Undead Pet, and as we see, we have like a zombie hamster on the front of it. Um, so, Fun, zombie sorry. zombie pets, you know, it's kind of a dangerous thing to think about, uh, having to deal with your animal who is trying to eat brains and do things like that. <laughs> <laughs> so you have to read this one to find out exactly what happens, whether that's a good or a bad thing. Shaun the Sheep. This one's actually some people might know. Uh, some people might know the TV show Shaun the Sheep, and this they've made into uh, into books. This is book number one that just came out this spring, and there are books two, three, and four, I believe, that are coming out right over the summer. So the next ones are going to come out pretty soon in this series. 
Cupcake Diaries. This one is a realistic fiction book. Realistic fiction just means that this is something that could happen to everyday people in everyday situations. There is no like magic wands or anything like that that are going on. So Cupcake Diaries, it's about uh, girls that have a cupcake club and just different adventures that the girls have together. Got another one that might be of interest for some of the girls. I, I guess it is of interest. Ever After High. This is kind of like the, um, reminds me a little bit of the Whatever After series. I just bought that from my classroom library. It's like a big hit. Okay. <laughs> this is a very, very popular series. So this one, Ever After High, there are still more books coming out. So if you read one of them, don't worry. There's more of them coming out afterwards. So you can always come in and ask for those. Then the last one that I have, Dog Diaries. We have, uh, because a lot of people have pets, and some people, they don't necessarily want to read about other people. Sometimes we just like to read about animals. Uh, they tend to be just kind of easier books and just really, really nice books. This one happens to be about a dog named Sweetie. And uh, there's a whole series of books that have different kinds of dogs in them. I should mention, too, one of the other things on the side of the books. It's not on all of the books, but on the sides of some of the books. Whenever you come to the library, if there's particular kinds of books that you like, like, oh, I like things that have to do with magic and stuff like that, then when you come in, you can look, and on the sides of the books, we try and put stickers to let you know what kind of book it is. This one, it says fantasy. It's got the unicorn on there, so you know that this is a fantasy book. So this is something where you might find magic, magic wands. There could be, like, talking animals in the books, things like that going on. Uh, this one has on it, pretty simple, a dog sticker. So this one has to do with dog stories. We also have things we put uh, stickers on books if it's a mystery book, if it's a historical fiction book, if it is a, uh, let's see, mystery, historical fiction, uh, if it's a particular animal like dogs or horses, or if you like cats, we put different stickers on. If you like books for holidays, like Christmas or Easter, we try and put stickers on for all sorts of things like that. And it just kind of helps you when you're browsing around, like, you know, hmm, is that something that I want to pull off of the shelf? Like, oh, I like fantasy books, so I'm going to pull this one off and look on the inside of it. It's always helpful to look sometimes on the inside cover. Sometimes it's on the back, but a lot of times on the inside cover of the book, you'll find a little bit of information and you can find out, you know, like, does this look like a story I think I'd want to read or not this kind of story that I want to read? And that's really helpful to you when you're looking for books in the library. So these are the books that I actually brought in with me. But the last thing that I have to show you, and I will give these to your teacher today, I brought in 24 awesome. uh, little pamphlets that I made up specifically for you for oh, your third grade class. Say thank you. Thank, thank you. you. And this has got, um, I tried to put down the covers of the books You're and uh, a little description of them. So I've got like Tales of a Fourth Grade Nothing, which uh, it sounds like you guys have already read. Uh, the Incredible Journey, that was an animal one. Uh, one of the ones that I have written down here, those are both older books, but some of the newer books that will be coming out, there's one, has anyone here probably, it's a little bit older movie, but there's a movie called The Princess Diaries. Some of the girls might know that movie. Yeah, they came out, yeah. okay, they came out with a newer a book of that. Uh, it's The Princess Diary books were geared more for teenagers. Well, now Princess Mia, they found out that she has a younger sister. So this is going to be a whole new series of books about her younger sister. Got a historical fiction here uh, that some of the boys might like, Daniel at the Siege of Boston. So if you like things having to do with like wars and stuff like that, historical fiction. Uh, then I've got that here. We've got a new American Girl book, Grace, and some other books that are all listed in here. That's and then to the back nice. cover. Some of these books are available in the library right now. Some of them, I'm just kind of giving you teasing hints about some things that might come out. Like if you like Diary of a Wimpy Kid, the next Diary of a Wimpy Kid is called Old School. That's going to be coming out this year, but not until November. Gotta wait for a while for that. Darn, it takes so long for those books to come out. So that's going to be coming out. He usually does them every November, so you kind of, kind of know that every November a new book's going to come out. But some of the books I just wrote down after the description at the very end. If it's not available right now, I wrote down when the next one's going to come out. Uh, like My Big Fat Zombie Goldfish, the next book in that series. We have a couple of zombie things. They're popular right now. Uh, book number four is going to be coming out in 2016. But we have books one, two, and three available right now. So if it sounds like something you think that you'd like to come in to read, you know you have at least a couple of books to start with. 
So I will leave all of you. Thank you. Give a round of applause. Thank you.